for the month of February, I will be doing a compassion challenge. It's not really a challenge, but more so, <clears throat> I want to uh, to become better at being more uh, compassionate. And how will I do that, right? <clears throat> This is where I'm stuck. <laughs> I need to come up with something that's uh, concrete, right? Something that's actionable, or something that I can actually do. And there was actually a, a really good video that I watched um, with Aaron Alexander, and uh, he mentioned a, a pretty solid challenge, right? If I meet with uh, someone new, the first thing I do is uh, notice their eye color, right? So that way, I'm actually paying attention to them, right? It's not about <laughs> uh, figuring out someone's eye color. It's about just paying attention to them, right? So that's one actionable thing. And the second is to really uh, listen to someone and now how can I make that actionable, right? So, no, I tend to be a pretty... I think I'm a pretty decent uh, listener, but... I do have moments when uh, my mind blanks out, right? When, uh, when I lose focus, when I think about something else, uh, and I'm not paying attention to the person I'm listening to. And so I want to get better. I want to get better at listening to people. I think that's the first step uh, for me to build even more compassion. And to do that, uh, for this challenge, whenever I notice my mind wandering, like whenever I notice uh, me not paying attention when someone else is talking, or whenever I notice uh, I'm trying to... <clears throat> whenever I try to... Um, whenever I notice myself trying to come up with uh, things that I want to talk, right? Rather, so basically when I'm not paying attention to the other person talking, I want to be able to break my mind back and you know, pay attention to the person uh, who's talking to me. So I will let you know <laughs> how that challenge goes for today. <clears throat> I tried a, I tried my very best uh, to be more compassionate at, uh, at my job. And when I was feeling good, right during the beginning, I was feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I was listening to, I was listening to people, I was paying attention to people. No. <clears throat> but then as uh, time went on, it definitely got a lot tougher. <laughs> uh, it definitely... Um, doing it for hours, it's... It definitely puts like a strain on, uh, on, my, on my mind. So that was definitely tough. Definitely. I think the uh, b main idea... Sorry to be a little bit vague about this, but the main idea of this challenge is uh, the quote... You know, humility is not about, is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Right? So that's like the main idea of this challenge. It's not to, uh, it's not about me, right? It's about others, right? It's not about putting myself down. It's about listening to others, right? <clears throat> right? It's not about, uh, you know, sacrificing myself, right? It's not about, you know, trying to be you know, it's not about pleasing people right this isn't about pleasing people this isn't about uh, sacrificing myself none of that right this is just focusing on myself less right focusing on myself less <clears throat> and it is 
it'll be a little bit more abstract. I'll probably make it a little bit more concrete. Uh, but please bear with me. Right, this is like my first time kind of uh, coming up with a challenge like this. So it's a little bit more abstract. But the highlights, right, the things I can improve. So there's two things I want to talk about. Things I did well and things I can improve on. So the things I did well, I... When it came to my co-workers, I was able to pay a lot more attention to them. Uh, and I was able to... I was able to see their facial expressions, and I was able to, um, you know, really listen to what people were talking about, right, and ask uh, good questions. Uh, as for things I can improve on, definitely, um, like I mentioned earlier, as time went on uh, with the customers, I was feeling pretty <laughs> at first I was doing good but later as time went on I was feeling very very tired um, I was feeling uh, like socially like my social energies right my social batteries were depleted and so how could I improve on that right how can I improve on that um, I think I would have to focus, I think number one is to really, uh, to improve on that, right, to improve my, I guess you could call it social endurance, <laughs> a weird term that I came up with, but social endurance. Uh, number one, I think, is really to take breaks, right? Um, you know, there's been a lot of studies showing when we're doing learning, for example, it's really beneficial to take breaks, right? If you're feeling, uh, you know, so you study for like, let's say, let's, you know, for example, 30 minutes, take a five minute break, study for 30 minutes, take a five minute break, right? And repeat that. Right? That's more, much more effective, right? So I think uh, I'll have to do a similar thing at my job, right? To socialize right, for 30 minutes, then take a five minute break. Socialize for 30 minutes, take a five minute break, right? So having like in, uh, interval breaks, I think that would help a lot. So that's number one. And number two, um, doing breathing exercises, right? Especially when I'm feeling uh, like socially uh, depleted, right, I think that would help a lot, I tend to be introverted, right, so I'm not, uh, I'm not that, you know, huge of a fan of <laughs> talking to people, I love talking to people, right, I love talking to people, I have great, great friends, and I, I have a loving family, right, so I, I really do, I really love being around people, but, but <laughs> I also do need my alone time, right? Taking walks in nature, just reflecting, thinking. Uh, like this video right now, it's pretty much just uh, reflection time, right? reflecting on how I did uh, on my day. So together time is important, definitely. But I tend to be more introverted, right? just te a tendency. And so I I, uh, I enjoy you know, the silence. I appreciate uh, I appreciate solitude, right? Not loneliness, solitude, right? Just being in nature. And um, you know, so I think this challenge will be you know, it'll be tough, right? I think it'll get more tough. <laughs> As time goes on, but I think it's a it's a good way to kind of uh, to test, right? To right, it's a good way to test um, to push my limits, right? To see, to become comfortable with being uncomfortable, as David Goggins would say, <laughs> right? To no, 
I can't just uh, do the things you know, that I I tend to do. Right? Sometimes, 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 right? sometimes we want to do things that we enjoy. Absolutely, but sometimes we also have to challenge ourselves, right? And for me, this is a way to challenge myself, right? And I hope uh, I hope my reflections, my uh, ideas, my thoughts. I hope they'll help. Uh, any of you who are watching this, I apologize that <laughs> this video got a bit long, um, but I just wanted to set all the groundwork, right? Just kind of like the idea of what this challenge is about, right? So the challenge is uh, to become more compassionate and to listen, right? First step is for me to listen to people. It's not uh, concrete, right? There's nothing to measure, but I'll add reflections every single day uh, of what I did well, what I can improve on. And that way, hopefully you, the viewers, you know, can gain something out of it. You right? can gain maybe, you can develop uh, more social skills, right? You can develop more communication skills. Or, you know, maybe there might be some, you might watch this for entertainment too. Absolutely, right? <clears throat> so, day one compassion challenge that's uh that's how it went <laughs>